sneaky big news. Five star quarterback Julian Lewis, the number two recruit in the 2025 ESPN 300, announced his commitment to Deion Sanders in Colorado yesterday live on Pat McAfee's show. This has led many to ask if it means Deion is staying in Colorado. Yesterday before that commitment, Stephen A weighed in on where he wants to see Dion next year. When I think about Dion staying in yeah. college, I think the ideal place for him would be the SEC. This joke that I say to Dion all the time, I tell him, I said, the brother's so prime time, you don't even think about him in the daytime. He need to be under those bright lights yeah. that's, that, that's shining on you at nighttime because it's a nationally televised game on ABC Saturday Night Football. Herbie, that kind of thing. That's, what, that's what you think. That's what yeah. you need when you prime time. And if it ain't that, then it's the NFL. So that's what Stephen A. is thinking. Then again, that, that conversation took place before this huge commitment was made to Colorado later in the day. I will admit, I have been operating under the assumption that Deion Sanders is going to go to the NFL after this season, one way or another, or at least that he wants to. That that has been, if I was going to bet on it yesterday, that's what I would have bet. Should I change my mind based on the fact that this superstar quarterback is now coming to Colorado? The only reason you would change your mind is because you respect that Deion Sanders would have the integrity to have the conversation with the kid, mm -hmm. right? You would think that if Deion Sanders is going to leave, he would tell a young man like this, hey, look, I don't know necessarily if I'm going to be here for the tenure of your college career. See, but that the, ain't really how college work, though, right. because you don't get Dion doesn't get to say, hey, give me a job in the NFL. Yeah. Dion doesn't get to say, hey, let me go to the SEC. Do I think he wants to go to the NFL? Yes. Do I think he should go to the NFL? Yes. But an NFL team has to want Dion Sanders in their building to run their organization. So you got a plan like you're going to be at Colorado. And if you're going to be at Colorado and you're going to lose the best quarterback in college football in Shador Sanders, you better have someone to replace place him and if y'all watched the recruit the, the commitment video yeah it is amazing. It's production. <laughs> it is a freaking movie Shadour is handing them the keys to the entire Colorado <laughs> University because it ain't just the football team that Deion runs and so if Deion Sanders makes a decision to leave I believe it will be the NFL I believe he's cut up he's got cut out a resume that says he's worthy of getting this opportunity but if not at least we know is he has something in his hand to play at Colorado yeah, I mean, I, I look at what, what the current state of college football is. Like, so you can commit to the kid and say, hey, I'm going to be here. But because of the transfer portal, yeah. this guy would be another hot recruiter. He can go to another destination yeah. that's going to be good for him as well. You know, I think that Deion's, of course, he wants to be in the NFL. I think that's part of the story that he wants to go. But I think he's committed. And I don't think he has to go to another destination. I think he's made Colorado a destination. College, you, have yeah. the, you have the stars out there. You had a production. And he has the full support of not only the city, he has the full support of the, of the college. So I think, you know, he'll, he'll go there as long as he can. But eventually, I think he leaves and goes to Yeah, the I agree with that. Like, it's Colorado or the NFL. He doesn't need to go to the SEC. And as it relates to the NFL, the data is overwhelmingly against the college coach being successful. And, look, there's exceptions, and Deion's played. But, you know, as Hembo reminded me, you know, all the way from Urban Meyer, Matt Rule, Greg right. Shiano, I mean, Nick on, Saban. Nick Saban, on and on and on. Now, look, Deion's played. He's paid his dues. He's obviously doing a great job. But that – information over 15, 20 years, you can't ignore that either. But you gotta, you gotta throw this new information out because it's a new, it's a new era, yeah. it's a new time. And you gotta think about Deion Sanders, it's, it's a transition to a new athlete. It's a new athlete and you need coaches now that can relate to the new athletes. That's why we see the overhaul of all the old guys being ushered out because you have to be able to relate to these different guys. What's I your think, sense, Danny? I think that's one of two things that will make him appealing to NFL teams, it, that, that the ability to relate clearly to, to the modern athlete, the modern young athlete. And also, when NFL teams hire college coaches, it's because they identify them as successful program builders. And mm -hmm. we've seen Deion Sanders be that in a short period of time in two different right places. Up. So I think be because of his NFL pedigree, because of the way he does communicate with his players, and because of the fact that what we saw him do at Jackson State, what we saw him do at Colorado, that's the kind of thing that gets you hired or at least looked at by NFL teams and when I, you're a college and I think, coach. I think the other piece is, too, 
Bart Scott didn't need a friend in a head coach, right? right? Bart Scott didn't need another father. Bart Scott didn't need a brother. Bart Scott understood the X's and O's are going to lead this team to execute in a way where we can win football games. I didn't need you to be my friend. Right. It was cool if we could have a conversation, if we could have a relationship, yeah. but I didn't need that. I didn't have to come sit in your office so you could teach me about life. These young dudes do. Yeah. These young dudes want to feel some sort of connection to their head coach. They want to feel like coach is there for me in in a way that expands beyond the football field. Build me up. Make me feel yeah. good. Make me want to come into this building every day and feel yeah. welcomed. Nobody is going to do it like that dude. And the other thing is this, cachet. You need cachet with these yeah. young cats now. You need them to feel like, oh, when Deion Sanders said something, it's because I know he's been through this. He's sat in this seat. Yeah. And I'm just saying this. I'm just throwing it out. If you're the Dallas Cowboys, right, yeah. and you know how the Dallas Cowboys operate, that there was always another step to go beyond the coach, what better person to have the conversation of, hey, coach, Jerry's doing this, or what's happening around the building is bothering me in this way. What better person to be able to say, man, I understand Jerry Jones. Mm -hmm. I can talk to Jerry Jones. I know what it's like to wear that star on your helmet. Let's figure this out so we can go make plays. Well, so that, that's obviously the dream scenario for people who host talk shows, is Deion to, <laughs> it's a, Deion to go to Dallas. I see that side of it. It's the other side of it that I wonder about. Jerry Jones, I think it was you who said this earlier this week, right? J Jerry Jones likes one person and one person only to be the most famous Ace person. Ace the franchise. And, and it isn't going See, to be the coach. Yeah, I, I, that's absolutely correct. I don't think Jerry Jones is going to hire a head coach that's going to get more attention than he does. But, and as, I'm not saying that to be, like, mean and make fun of Jerry. He operates his team a very specific mm -hmm. way, and he wants to be front and center. He's the general manager. He does all the radio hits. He talks after the game. <laughs> he want his scrum to be the biggest yeah. after the game. So I just don't think that's going to be, that's but, going to be what appeals to him. But there's been an exception. He hired Coach Parcells, yes. and they got along well, and, it, you know, by all counts, it – it went well for a period of time. So if I'm Jerry Jones and I'm saying yeah. I have to reassess where we are, Deion Sanders is an interesting guy that they're going to have to There was a specific reason at that time in history that he okay. wanted Parcells, and it was they were trying to get a stadium built. Yeah.